Today I've got a really nice problem from the 2019 New Zealand Math Olympiad. And what I like about this problem is, well, at least the solution I came up with is a little bit of a roundabout solution. I think it could be made more efficient. But that being said, what I think is nice about the solution is that it uses a lot of like nice techniques that you should be familiar with if you want to do math contests. Okay, so let's look at the problem. Let's show for all integers n that are bigger than or equal to zero, this expression 122 to the n minus 102 to the n minus 21 to the n is always one less than a multiple of 2020. And we'll use two main ideas here. One is the idea of congruence mod n. And so let's just recall that we say that a and b are congruent mod n exactly when n divides b minus a. In other words, b minus a is a multiple of n. Now this is equivalent to saying that a and b have the same remainder when dividing by n. So for two examples, let's notice that 17 is congruent to 5 mod 12. That's because 17 minus 5 is equal to 12. That's most definitely a multiple of 12. And furthermore, 19 is congruent to negative 1 mod 20. That's because 19 minus negative 1, well, that's equal to 20. That's most definitely a multiple of 20. And that second example is particularly important because it's often nice to work with negative congruences. So another thing that we'll use uh, towards the end is a binomial expansion formula. So we can expand the binomial x plus y to the n power using a sum of binomial coefficients in different powers of x and y. So we'll see that at the end. Okay, so what I'd like to do first is to recast this problem in terms of that modular arithmetic or that congruence mod n. So what we'll show, or what I'll just say, is that this is equivalent to showing for all n, which are bigger than or equal to 0, we have 122 to the n minus 102 to the n minus 21 to the n is congruent to negative 1 mod 2020. And now let's jump into our solution which will be done via a proof by induction. Okay, so that's one of the nice boxes that this ticks in terms of looking at lots of different problem solving strategies. So whenever you do a proof by induction, you have to do a base case, which is like the smallest possible setup. I think the obvious base case here would be the case when n is equal to zero. Um, and then you could maybe do n equals 1 just as a test case as well, but all you really need to do is n equals 0. So let's see, the expression in this case turns into 122 to the 0 minus 102 to the 0 minus 21 to the 0. But that's clearly equal to 1 minus 1 minus 1, which is not only congruent to negative 1 mod 2020, but it's actually equal to negative 1 just as is, which itself, I guess I should say, is congruent to negative one mod 2020. Okay, so there we have it with the base case. Now let's make an induction hypothesis. And that will be, let's suppose for some k bigger than or equal to zero, well, the statement holds. So in other words, 122 to the k minus 102 to the k minus 21 to the k is indeed congruent to negative 1 modulo 2020. Okay, but then what I'd like to do here before moving on to the next step would be to maybe solve for um, 122 to the k. So that'll give me 122 to the k is congruent to 102 to the k plus 21 to the k minus 1 mod 2020. Okay, nice. And then, of course, after an induction hypothesis, you make the induction step. 
And for the induction step, you'll generally consider the K plus first case of this setup. So in other words, I wanna consider the expression 122 to the K plus one minus 102 to the K plus one and then minus 21 to the K plus one. But now I'll factor out, you know, uh, one copy of 122, one copy of 102, and one copy of 21. So let's see, that'll leave me with 122 times 122 to the K, and then minus 102 times 102 to the K, minus 21 times 21 to the K. Okay, good. But now I wanna use this induction hypothesis. So I will replace my 122 to the K with what I have over here. So this is not an equality, this is a congruence. So now I start working mod 2020. So this will be congruent to 122 times 102 to the K plus 21 to the K minus one and then we still have this other stuff left over. So that's 102 times 102 to the K minus 21 times 21 to the K. Like I said, this is all mod 2020. Okay, so now let's see if we can do some simplification. So notice I have 122 times 102 to the K and I have 102 times 102 to the K. So I can think of those as like terms. So I take 122 of them and I subtract 102 of them. Well, that pretty clearly leaves me with 20 of them left over. So I have 20 times 102 to the K. And now let's play that game again. But now we'll play that game with 122 times 21. And then down here I have 21 times 21 to the K. But that means I have 122 of them. I'm taking away 21 of them, leaving 101 of them. So that'll be plus 101 times 21 to the K. And then of course I have left over this last term, which I get from distributing this 122 onto negative one. So that'll be negative 121. And like I've been saying, this is all happening mod 2020. Okay, so now let's bring that up and we'll work towards the end. Okay, so this is where we left ourselves on the last board. And if we can prove that this thing over here is congruent to negative one mod 2020, then we're done. We've proved this by induction. So in order to get started, I wanna make the following observation about the factorization of 2020. So 2020 can be re rewritten as 20 times 101. And we're gonna use that. So let's also use this binomial expansion, which I hinted at using, but we have not used yet. And we're gonna use that in two places, with this 102 to the K and this 21 to the K. I wanna write 102 is 101 plus one, and 20 is 20 plus one. And that's in order to get 20 and 101 into this situation. Okay, so that's gonna be congruent to 20 times well, 101 plus one raised to the K plus 101 times 20 plus one raised to the K and then minus one, two, two. And this is all still mod 2020. And now we'll do binomial expansion on these two terms right here, where the role of the first variable is being played by 101 or 20 respectively. And the second variable is just one. Okay, so by binomial expansion formula, this gives us 20 times the sum as j goes from zero up to k. We have our binomial coefficient k choose j, and then 101 to the j. And then likewise, we have 101 here, the sum as j goes from zero to k of 20 to the j, and then minus 122, and that's all working mod 2020. But now let's notice that if j is bigger than or equal to one here, we have a factor of 101, which combines with this 20 to give us a factor of 2020. But when reducing mod 2020, that's just gonna give us zero. And that's when j is bigger than or equal to one. And if j is bigger than or equal to one over here, 
will get a factor of 20, 20 for the same reason. And I forgot my binomial coefficient there. So that means in each of these cases, only the j equals zero term survives. So that means in the end, here I get 20 times the j equals zero term, which is just one, plus 101 times the j equals zero term, which is again just one, minus 122. And this is all mod 2020 again. But check it out, we have 20, plus 101, that's 121, minus 122, that's exactly negative one mod 2020. But that's exactly what we wanted over here. So that finishes this problem, and that's a good place to stop. Thanks for watching and sticking around until the end of the video. And since you're here, don't forget to gently press that like button, subscribe, ring the bell, and select all notifications to never miss a video. If you wanna get your name in the credits like you see here, access the live seminar series, review videos before release and more, go to patreon.com slash michaelpinmath and become a Patreon member today. If you want full ad-free course content, subscribe to my second channel, Math Major. I've got courses on linear algebra, complex analysis, and proof writing, among several others. And that's everything. Bye.